Play a clip. He'd want to bro out with Bisconti. I don't know if you know anything about Bisconti. He's a very, you know, emotional Gay. sort of man. He doesn't want to bro out with you. So my message would be like, yeah, I don't know. I just I miss April today. But I'm looking at my kids in the yard and I'm like, okay, dude. Che He's texting all the same stuff he, he tries to use on us. I miss April. I'm having a bad April day. I really miss my kids. I'm out with my kids in the yard. You know, his messages would be a little bit different, which would go unanswered, by the way. He showed me, he's like, why is he doing this? It would be, hey, check out this naked photo of uh, Kayla. We're looking, we're like, If you're so broken. The fact that uh, Gino and Kiki should release these photos of Kayla nude. Because it, because the fact that Aaron's doing revenge porn, again, this is like, you know, weeks after all this. While he's still being hurt. One minute he's like, I really miss April. I'm having a bad April day. But thank God I'm out here with my kids. By the way, you want to see Kayla nude? This is called revenge porn. It's illegal federally and if i'm gino and kiki i'm just putting those photos out i'm just putting them out because because who's gonna get in trouble who's gonna get in trouble for leaking the photos aaron aaron keanu doesn't get in trouble keanu has no expect once aaron sends those out there's no expectation of privacy between that gino and kiki put those photos out even even if it's just on reddit or on uh Kiwi Farms or whatever. No one wants to see that pic. No, but it it causes so much trouble for Aaron. Do you understand? It causes so much trouble for Aaron. Aaron's the one distributing revenge porn. Literally. So this just makes another headache for him. They could send it to a third party. Yes, yeah, send it to me. Send me the nudes. Low key. On the DL, I'll leak them to everybody. The minute I get those nudes, I put them out to everybody. Everybody. I tweet it. So get them over to me. Let's leak this. Let's make Mooby look like a real monster. You know? Because you know he's not. First of all, you do it safely. Gino, uh, Kiki, send me those pictures on the DL very safely. Send them anonymously, whatever. You know you're not the only ones he's shown. You know he's shown Matt. You know he's shown uh, Johnny. You know he's texted all the guys from the from the Midland Armory. That's revenge porn. Then you get charged. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm allowed to post any nudes anyone sends me. I didn't take it, and I'm not posting it for any motive. If you send me a nude of someone, I can post it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Talk to my lawyer. You think it's revenge porn if I post pictures of Kayla? It ain't. It ain't. What do I got to get revenge for? I don't. I don't. Anyway, I'll post them. I'll straight up fucking post them. I'm looking for trouble. I'm looking for trouble. Let the father of the cup holder of the year come get me. Up by this. What the fuck are you doing? Gino or I, we will never think you're cool. Whoa. Gino and I will never think you're cool. That hurts him. That's going to be devastating. Is that how you relate to a dude? Yes. Yes. I don't know if you know Bisconti. He was like, oh, no. Why did he do this? Like, I don't know. He's like, I, I can't tell you enough. He, like, I, I just... I don't want to bro out with him. I don't want to bro out about this. It's like, it's gross. It's weird. So keep on, keep on, uh, you know, trying to <clears throat> bro out with Bisconti. Cigars. Here's a naked photo of a lady. Keanu's such a phony. I don't know if she's a phony. I do, I do know that a lot of that stuff going over there with uh, Kiki and Gino is not what it seems to be. I do have uh, some inside information this weekend on some stuff and i will say that you can't trust them for like what they say it's not 100 percent legit and um 
I'll leave it at that. I, I know more than I should. I'll leave it at that. Lady that I boned well, my wife, <laughs> ex-wife at this point, who's being cradled <laughs> and, uh, you know, loved by uh, another man. I guess, allegedly, who knows? That's what it seems like. By the way, he addressed the gay rumors this morning. I, I think we're about a week out from from finding out that Aaron uh, did a little colon probing with Nick. Um, the fact that he brought, look, you know, we floated this out. I floated this out there a couple weeks ago and kind of went nowhere. Well, today, Aaron out of nowhere just goes, and I know there's rumors going around that, it, uh, Nick and I were doing gay stuff. New, no, new, no, new, no, and new gay stuff. Sorry. No gay stuff. It's like, Oh God. Oh God. Like the fact that he said it, the fact that he mentioned it and said it it didn't happen makes me go, oh, no, there's so much gay stuff coming. There's so much gay stuff coming. If he's it, uh, the look, he basically over the last two days has confirmed he was the one who reported them to the police or the pastor. Now he's saying it openly. He switched his language up. He's literally said, uh, I, I waited too long to report them. He said, um, turn them in he has said this language so much over the past few days and then actually someone called him out and said so you're admitting you're the one who turned them in and he said his exact words after that were like yeah well it was in the police report and everything like yeah yeah it's like so he's trying to blow it off now like like it's nothing but it's literally almost a confirmation he's letting us know he he is the one who was involved in them getting arrested. And that now that makes sense. And again, I, I told you this the minute he started saying whoever did this is a hero. The minute he came out after they got arrested and go, whoever did this is a hero. Whoever turned them in is a hero. I, 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 we have a group chat where I go like, the fact that he's saying he whoever did this is great and amazing and needs to be held up and honored and a hero, I know he did it. I know he did it. That's how he works. It's how everything he does works. So now he gets to come out and go, yeah, I did it. By the way, remember, I'm a hero. I did it. Um, you know, and I do it again for the kids. So, so he gets in front of stuff. It's his MO. He loves to get in front of stuff and uh, try to control the direction things are received and interpreted by us. Again, we're not supposed to go like snitch. You're the one who caused all this. Now that we know you turned him in, we're supposed to go. How brave he saved the children. How brave he saved the kids. And Johnny Crutches gives us some insight into how spiteful and vindictive this guy is. First, first we're getting it from Keanu with the revenge porn. It's really odd of you to do, man. Really odd. It was weird. That's a weird thing to do. Gino doesn't want to bro out. He, uh, if you know, if you know, read the room, Aaron. If you know anyone at all, Aaron can't read he a room. Be sending naked photos of Kayla to Gino. He's like, uh, uh, why? What is this? Does he like expect you to go like hell yeah? So this is literally like admitted revenge porn. So Aaron is Aaron is uh, beating women <laughs> and participating in revenge porn. And then Doom, uh, bane of my existence. Doom or Bane? Which one do you like to go to? Bane of my existence makes this uh, clip from Johnny Crutches. So Johnny Crutches goes on his show Friday, I guess, and leaks this, which is Mad wild. respect to anyone who can DJ. I could never get that music flow right. I'm, uh, I am a, um, I'm, I'm a, not, what would I call myself? By the way, how does he look so much more uh, um, clean cut and healthy on his own show? Do you know what I mean? Like, maybe it's the depression. Maybe we don't, because we don't ever hear him talk, and he's just hunched over, ignoring Aaron. He's not really a part of Steel Toe, you know? I'm a rookie DJ. We don't care. No of Aaron, like, hey, April's not here, whatever. The weekend before that happened, I went out and um, before Ray's state the facts, people. Yeah, dude. 
No joke. Uh, now, this is the first time we've ever heard Johnny talk. So um, Before the news broke for you guys, the weekend before the news broke of Aaron, like, hey, April's not here, whatever. The weekend before that happened, I went out and hung out with Aaron on a Saturday. Listen and while we were hanging out, he told me Listen to this. all the stuff that he then told you on the following Monday. We were drinking, we were having fun, and he was very vengeful. This is a word, Aaron M. Holt, it kind of encapsulates his whole. He's never been a winner. He's always been a loser. And if he ever gets an advantage or some le leverage over someone, he will 100% use it to try to destroy that person. He's that petty. He, he will never forget, and he will always try to ruin somebody. The intro to his song is all about, I'm not in any revenge. We're looking for vengeance. You know, it's all about that. It really is all about that. So he tells you who he is. And again, thank God he's a fucking feckless, boring boob who cannot execute anything with any sort of precision or uh, success. So, like, everything he does just fails. Everything he does is just sad, pathetic, and a failure. From the setup of his stream, to his marriages, to trying to be a father, to these live events. I mean, only a loser could have this live event like this. You know, and people wanted to give me shit for two months out changing the venue to a much better fucking venue. Again, anyone who goes and looks at the old venue and where we ended up being, it's like those people took such good care of us. And if we hadn't have moved that, uh, it, it wouldn't have been nearly as great as it was. And people tried to spin that as, as into, like, something's going wrong. Melton's moving the, the venue and stuff. And all that's fine. Of course that's going to happen. Of course it's going to happen. And you got to take all that. This is real. What's happening to his event is real. Everyone's backing out of it. Everyone's backing out of it, as opposed to ours were adding people last minute. Everyone's backing out of it. That's not a lose. Those people are compromised losers, and now it's going to be better because it's just going to be the steel toe old school fans. Well, now he's canceled the roast. We'll get to this in a minute. The roast is canceled, and now it's just going to be an old school steel toe reunion where you just drink with all the guys you've seen on steel toe. And then he said, and maybe we'll have him go up and do stand up or cut promos or something. Cut promos. Yeah, we'd love to watch two-minute videos of Mersh in front of flames, almost blacking out while he screams about genderless cops. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just like, this guy's a loser. This guy's a loser. People are backing out of your event. You're, you're fun. Last week was a problem, and Gino was a dick for canceling because you'd already sold tickets. We've already sold tickets. Gino can't cancel. We've already sold tickets. That's a dick move. Well, guess what? Aaron's canceled the roast. But Aaron, you've already sold tickets. Yeah. Are you going to give a refund? No. What are you going to do? Oh, people just come out and hang out. It's a reunion. It's a steel toe old school reunion now. No roast. Maybe a comedy show. Who knows? Cornhole. Uh. <laughs> this is where we're headed. And he wanted me. To come on the show. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Yeah, the uh, everything's canceled. Every, the, the roast is canceled. And publicly thank... A By the way, that's not a lose for the toe, though. It's actually better. He'll tell you. It's better that Gino's not coming. It's better that the roast is canceled. These are all wins for the toe. April for, uh, for leaving and getting me a raise. Uh, or not even leaving. Listen to this. The Saturday night... Before he told us about the divorce and April being gone from the show, he wanted Johnny to come on the show and trash April. And told you on the following Monday. We were drinking, we were having fun, and he was very vengeful. And he wanted me to come on the show and publicly thank April for, uh, for leaving and getting me a raise. Uh, or not even leaving. Publicly thank April for uh, something like getting fired or whatever and getting me a raise. Like, he wanted that to happen. By the way, they they did bring that up and do that. He's going to pretend like they let it go. No, 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 no. They did work that joke in somewhere, if not in that show, on that day. That did come up later. Like, you should thank April 
for leaving so that you can get a raise. Ha 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 ha. That did come up on the show. So much so, he talked about it so much so, that the next morning when he had a change of heart and decided not to go all scorched earth out the gate, he told me not to bring it up and not to do that. But yeah. There was a part where that was a plan. This is the guy that doesn't do works. You know, Carl made a great point with this on his clip. This is the guy who doesn't do works and tells you everybody else is into wrestling fake shit. But here he is setting up a bit with Johnny to shit on April. Oh, nine candy. Johnny, if you were circumstance, if you were by your circumstances would open up. It's just look, there's I'll, I'll be completely honest. There's a person I've been speaking to. Ooh. We'll see where that goes. We'll see where that goes. You don't I'm have to announce anywhere. this stuff. Right now, I am uh, in a position where <laughs> I'm in doggy style position. Right now, I'm in a position where I'm going to focus on working on me, growing my show, taking care of my daughter, and I have now uh, a new personal legit goal. Okay, before he gets into this, I love when like fathers announce that they're going to start really being a dad. I've got a new goal to like really start taking care of my daughter. <laughs> That's a new goal? <laughs> Fuck. Hold on, say it again. Doggy style position. Right now I'm in a position where I'm going to focus on working on me, growing my show, taking care of my daughter, and I have now uh, a new personal legit. The daughter was the third thing. I'm going to focus on me. Growing my show, and if there's time, my daughter, little Norma Crutches. Goal of, um... Little Katie Crutches. Katie, bring daddy's crutch. Of of growing my show and being uh, self-sufficient on my... Uh-oh! This sounds just like Corey Adam before the ejection. Listen to this. Oh taking care of my daughter and i have now uh, a new personal legit goal of um of of growing my show and being uh self-sufficient on my shows and my stuff not needing to do aaron shows at all oh not needing to do aaron shows i can't wait for the day i don't need the 30 dollars a week not needing to do uh, disability and shit at all and really having uh, like legit control and that means I have to quit being a fucking lazy asshole uh, and really work on shit and stop woeing and uh, wallowing in my uh, I have MS and, and life sucks really stay away from merch also like here we are this is the second time again this is how Corey Adams started I'm gonna start getting self-sufficient so i don't have to do steel toe damn it melton everybody knows that when it's gay for the stay that doesn't really count as gay plus it was only a short stay aaron's all about the short stuff ha ha aaron's got a little wee wee i broke all of you you've reduced yourselves to schoolyard crap another win for the toe uh js is back and says i've i'm broke oh no did you br uh, js gave us a lot of money friday night um i don't know if this is the same js or not JS gave us a lot of money Friday night, and, uh, you know, we were mad because he said he had 5000 more to give, and then he just vanished. So we're starting to think he's poor, unless, he's, unless he really steps up and starts proving it today. Hit the like button, huh? Almost 900 of you watching and can't even get to 300 on the, you know, people are going to think they're fake. People are going to think they're fake. It's not fair. You know what? Again, this drama shit blows. Why am I doing this? I got to stop fucking doing it. Because you... So Johnny hates it when people come over and talk steel toe on his stream. He's like, this isn't steel toe. This is like Corey Adam. I just sit here with the chat on the screen and don't do anything. That's my show. If you want, if you want stuff going on and opinions, go over to steel toe. I don't do the drama over here. It's like... Guys, the only time you get any views is when you do the drama. So why not do the drama? Again, this Doom clip has 7.6 thousand views on it. Johnny Crutches will never get that many views on a video unless it's of him dying, you know, because I'll put it on loop. We're not doing that stuff. Someone needs to offer April some money for an interview. Dude, people have offered her fuck tons of money for an interview. She doesn't want to be on the internet. Hold on, Aaron. She doesn't want to be on the internet. All these guys are the same. 
What happened in Minnesota when they installed the internet there? Did they tell them, like, this is a magical place, but don't stay out too long. You can get sick. What happened when they installed the, the internet in Minnesota? They really, they told him, like, guys, this is called internet. It's dangerous. Keep your women off it. Guys, she doesn't want to be on internet. <laughs> what? I told you about your pay status before he consulted me first. Wow, says Rusty Graham. Yeah. So, yeah, my raise was in the books, like, uh, days before that uh, emotional breakdown thing. So, oh, Mersh can, Mersh can suck it. He can't. He can't. There's no coming back, Johnny. You're never going to look tough again. You broke down and cried, like, seven times in a day. Knock it off. There's no coming back from that. Stop it. Oh, Mersh is a, Mersh is a fucking thing. He's not. He's not. You will never be above Mersh. You can't have that happen online and then ever be above Mersh. If I ever started crying because of a Mersh chat, I could never make fun of Mersh again. You wouldn't allow it. You wouldn't allow it. Everybody in the chat would raise their hand. Kush King, Doom, Toe Gunner, G-Rob, they'd all raise their hand. Uh, excuse me, didn't you cry when... I'm sorry, Patrick, to bring this up. Didn't you... Did you or did you not break down sobbing, come back on stream, leave sobbing, come back on the stream, say you got it this time, cry yourself off the stream, come back? You could, you, there's, there will, there can be, there, it, there shall never be a situation ever where you can come back and believe, stick it to Mersh. That, that, that will not exist in this dojo. All right, West Coast Patriot. <laughs> like it just can't. It can't. There's no. There's no other. There will never be a time you can come back at Mersh. Stop it, Johnny. And then every show he does is too like stinging Mersh. Ah, stinging Mersh. <laughs> I prefer the real, real, or not at all. Uh, every time it gets brought up, he just cucks out and goes like. Ah. It's like that's not that's not gonna make it better. I you got beat up by a cat man. That's all that's all you need. A man with cats made you cry. I can't. I can't. He has like nine cats and he made you cry. <laughs> There's things, but I don't want to. Yeah, all right. Um, Buzzer Bob saying, John, uh, Bob and Lomo, actually getting April on the show would be easy. Put some coffee sweetener in a gem bag and dangle it in front of her. On the <laughs> He's another one of these guys that doesn't read the chat and just reacts. Getting April on the show would be easy. You just... Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a good one. And, and if you're listening, you're like, what? A gem bag and dangle it in front of her. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bag on Aaron for a minute. It's against one of my rules, but this has been like a personal grudge of mine uh, that's been sitting for a while. People can send it to him. I don't give a fuck. I think I've actually had this conversation with him at one point or another. But I actually, yeah, I want to get this off my chest. And so I'm okay, going to take okay. a probably bad page out of Aaron's book and do that. And someone threw some money at the PayPal, apparently. And A bad page out of Aaron's book? No such thing. Every page in Proverbs is worth its weight in gold. Uh, we'll link those in the chat. And if we ended up buying out the day, we'll get this out first. Um if we end up buying out the day, does he do goals too? What's going on with everybody with the goals? So Aaron's setup is remarkably slapdash. Like remarkably, ah! you said the secret word. Slapdash. Like, in the beginning, it made sense because you know, and yes, uh, who was it? West Coast Patriot girl is your cat a Bengal? A little longer than a few minutes later. Um. John is about Aaron's, and his screens are two giant TVs. He went out and bought two giant TVs. I'm not. I'm not even kidding. We were we were making fun of this in a private chat the other night. I'll I'll pull. I'll try to pull it up in a second. There was an evening show with Matt last week. We're looking at his setup, 
He he doesn't have an HD webcam. If you if you want to know why his webcam looks so shitty, it's not HD. He do, he doesn't even have a webcam that that is HD, much less 4K. And when he when he does the thing where he puts himself down in the corner and is watching something, which is a new setup for him, that's super cool that he's able to do that now. He goes 4-3. So he's 16 by 9, but the reason it's so pixelated is because he's stretching his 4-3 shitty camera, and that's why it looks all pixelated and gross. And you're like, how does he get it to look this bad? So when he's when he goes down in the corner, he puts his shitty 4-3 full-frame camera up, and you can see more of his studio. And you can see on his desk, I'm not kidding, they're – I guess they're TV. Johnny's saying they're TVs. They're two of the thickest. I mean, it looks like they're CRTs. We were joking. Like, they don't even look like LCD flat panel televisions. It looks like he's got two CRT glass cathode ray tube television sets sitting on his desk, and he's staring at them for the chat and for the uh, OBS. And what I realized as he's saying all this, it like it all makes sense now why he he sucks. He's using TVs for monitors. I guarantee you they're the cheapest TVs that money could buy. So they're probably 720 or 1080 TVs. So he can't even get like an appropriate monitor resolution, like a 1440 or something, where he has like good screen real estate. He's staring at gigantic resolutioned you know, icons this big on his desktop on these two CRT television sets. I'm, I'll put, when we're done with this clip, I'm going to pull it up and show you. You'll go, where do you even buy TVs like that? Uh, it's, we had no idea. We had no idea. Um, but I'll show you it. It's crazy. Okay. Cool. Or he had them. I don't know. But they're fucking huge. And they're not mounted to anything, so they just take up a lot of space on that table of his. He needs so two TVs on his desk, and that's what takes up most of the space. He needs, like, a real mounted monitor setup, and he needs, and again, people overestimate, and him especially, why does the screen have to be so big? Yeah, you've got a big TV screen. It takes up a lot of space. I have three smaller screens. And if you know anything about Aaron, the reason this rant is so good, Aaron will put nothing into the show. Aaron will never put anything into the program. So this is a pipe dream, this idea that one day he'll get some monitor stands and go get some 24, 27-inch monitors and actually, like, get it popping and set his shit up right. I mean, that would take... A thousand to, to fifteen hundred bucks. He'll he'll never put that amount of money back into the show. I, I you you're just dreaming. First of all, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. I mean, he just he he's broke as fuck. <laughs> he he takes twenty inch sound bars for free from the store. And then I have a small screen above it. I've got my um. Fuck! I wish I could. No, that would suck. But, uh, I mean, I've got a screen up top with my prep list and clock. So I know times. I know time zones for Jimmy. I know time zones in Los Angeles. I know. So I know time zones for. He has to have different clocks up. <laughs> I know time zone for Jimmy and I know time zone for Los Angeles. So nobody will ever ask me what time Jimmy is or what time Los Angeles is. I'll always know. You'll never stop me in the middle of my show with either of those questions. What time is Jimmy? What time is Jimmy? Who's Jimmy? What time is LA? And what time is Jimmy? I know. I have all the time zones. And I have all the Jimmys. I know what every Jimmy is at. And I know where every LA is timed. Like where your neck of the woods are while I'm doing my show. I've got my prep list up there. Top to bottom, anything I need. My pay links, all that shit. Boom. <laughs> You've got your pay links? <laughs> Is that how? <laughs> I'm ready to go.
I've got all of my stuff that you guys are going to see as well as my streams on this side of the screen, on this screen over here. So when I cut to my video, boom, there we are. <laughs> Looking good. Duh. There I am. It's simple. <laughs> I don't know what you guys' problem is. Duh. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> Only an idiot could fuck. Oh, wait. <laughs> And then on this screen, all the way over here, all three chats, each one with its own window, so I can interact with them. Seven people in each room. Duh. All three chats. All three chatters. Yes, can, uh, show goth 23. People generally mistake physical screen size for resolution, and it's stupid. Yes. Aaron bought these big TVs. I guarantee you they don't go above 1080 FHD. I guarantee you they don't go above 1080. I'll go for high resolution 27 inch all day. Yeah, and that's why you want a quality computer monitor. You want high re you want high refresh rates. You do not need that. You do not need that. You do not need a high refresh rate to do a podcast. Go buy a $200 27-inch monitor that's 4K. It does not need to be high refresh rate for this. Are you a gamer? If you're gaming, you need a high refresh rate. You do not need a high refresh rate to do this, Johnny. You're so full of shit. You want high resolutions. You don't. You don't need... Again, what's a high resolution anymore? I'd argue most people are sitting at 1440. And he needs them divided, so he just... And then he never uses. He Why do you need them divided? Why would that be any better? He never uses this. You need a high refresh rate. OBS won't work unless you've got at least 240 hertz. <laughs> what is this guy talking about? This fucking thing to its potential. That's another one. Uh, and I, I'm not going to get that. I 10 to 1. Um, Uh, Ozone, Gordy is le Aaron's legit soci sociopath. Johnny's enabling. Uh huh. Yeah. And now, um, and now he's talking about Aaron's screens. What else? I'm giving, well, I gave this a chance. Yeah. See, there we go. I knew it. Ozone being a piece of shit. I was, <laughs> he's got the, he's got the Aaron M. Holt thing down where he's got one sound effect. It makes no sense most of the time, but it's the one he has. So he just hits it whenever he makes no sense. Oh, yeah, Ozone's not going to give me what he said he was going to give me. I knew it. Ozone being a piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking Ozone. It's like all these guys. It, it, Red Bar, the same thing. It's just like I have one sound effect for everything, whether it makes sense or not. All right, we got to move on to a new story. <laughs> okay, I guess. Does that help? Hit the like button. Hit it. I'm not doing anything till we get over 300.